Hey wonderful viewers and welcome back. People keep on sending me new stories and that's great, keep it up. So today let's learn about a holographic projection idea that was proposed to win the war in Iraq. You are in Baghdad in 1991 and something strange is happening. A hush falls over the city as a huge shimmering face materializes in the sky. Soldiers and citizens prostrate themselves as each hears the voice of Allah coming from within their head, commanding them to overthrow the evil and treacherous Saddam Hussein. Within minutes, an angry mob is storming the palace as the guards flee. Hmm. This highly imaginative scenario was proposed by U.S. Air Force planners for a bloodless victory in the Gulf conflict. The idea of putting words in God's mouth is not new. Back in the second century AD, Lucian described the statue of the god Aesculapius, which spoke to believers aided by a hidden priest with a speaking tube. The Baghdad plan involved projecting a giant hologram over a rack. This kind of projection requires a mirror behind it and the scale of the project dictated a mirror several miles across in space. Orbital mirrors have to be extremely lightweight, so the construction is based around a very thin sheet of plastic. So far, the largest mirror that has been put up is 30 meters wide, but this is far too small to produce a convincing image of God as seen from the ground. But another approach that they could have used is to make a mirror out of thin air. When warm air lies on top of cold air, the difference in density is enough to bend light. This causes the familiar illusionary puddles or mirages we all see in the road. At higher altitudes, a mirage can make a whole landscape appear in the sky. An artificial mirage could in theory be made by heating the atmosphere with radio waves. The military certainly appears to believe in the potential use of holograms. A U.S. Air Force think tank has devised uses ranging from deceptive holographic images to the Star Trek sounding distortion field projector. They would be projected by a special aircraft, the Airborne Hologram Projector. Perhaps the nearest current equivalent is the Commando Solo, festooned with aerials and antennas and capable and carrying pods of classified electronics. Flown by the 193rd Special Operations Detachment, whose motto is, we fire electrons, not bullets, it has been involved in the Gulf and in Bosnia. Its other capabilities include radio jamming, deception, and manipulation techniques. But the face of God might not be enough. A voice is needed. A new technique using microwaves could produce this. When a high power microwave pulse strikes the human body, it can cause an expansion of tissue, which can create an acoustic wave inside your head. Thus, it might be possible to talk to people in a way which would be very disturbing. Although the plan had major technical hurdles, the main reason for rejecting it was cultural. Images of Allah are unknown, forbidden in Islam. How can you project an image of a God that nobody knows what he or she is supposed to look like? There's also a fundamental problem with this type of warfare. The plan has a very boys' own paper view of foreigners as being conventionally superstitious savages, prone maybe to flee at the sound of a disembodied voice. This might have worked centuries ago, but the good citizens of Baghdad are by no means backwards. They all have satellite TV and would probably recognize a psychological operation in the sky. 
the more I learn about holographic projection and the more you share with me, the more we can both learn about this new form of psychological warfare. The truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.